Okay, we have with us now um, in the 133-pound championship, uh, Dayton Fix from Oklahoma State. Dayton, when you're comfortable, if you could start us off with some general comments about your semifinal match. Um, you know, no comments really. Uh, got my hand raised. You know, that's my job, and I got to do what I got to do. Okay, please raise your hand if you've got a question. Give us your name, your affiliation. Got a couple here on the front row. Go first. Scott Wright with the Oklahoman. Dayton, as best you can. First of all, how confusing was particularly the overtime period for you in terms of what you were hearing and, and what can you can, – kind of take us through what exactly happened there there toward the end. Um, I was just trying to stay focused. Uh, you know, I knew that uh, – I knew I let go of the leg when I was on top, and I knew he locked his hands whenever he was on top. So it was pretty simple for me. It was just a matter of what the officials thought, and obviously they thought the same as me. So that's really all there is to say about it. Okay, we'll get another one here on the front Mike row. Win. You just use the word focus. Could you talk about this coming back this year after all you've done through what you did? Is that's what you've tried to maintain anything? Let all the stuff in the past go away and just focus on the future? Yep. You know, just staying focused one match at a time. Um, you know, I don't think that if you would have told me I would have went and got takedowns my last two matches and I won, I wouldn't might have probably not believed you, but you know, I just had to do what I had to do to win and that's what I did. Here on the front row. Marshall Scott, PFB, didn't you get Vito in the final? He obviously knocked you off last year. Just kind of what are your thoughts going into that match? Um, you know, defending world champion. Uh, I'm uh, looking forward to it. You know, obviously, uh, it didn't go my way last time, and I've been, you know, thinking about it for, you know, a whole year now. And, you know, I want to get that match back, and what better stage to do it on than one on Saturday night? You know, it's a great opportunity, and I'm grateful. I'm just really grateful that, you know, God put me on this earth to, to wrestle and to use wrestling to glorify him. And, you know, that's what I try to do every time I step on the mat. Okay, over here to the left, uh, Dayton. Ryan Holmes under Matt. Dayton, what was the game plan going in up against a guy that last time you faced him, you pinned him in about two and a half minutes? So what, what was different this time, and what was he doing to kind of stymie your offense? Uh, game plan was go do the same thing. Uh, obviously, that game plan didn't work, but, uh, you know, he's, he's a tough competitor. You know, it's national semifinals. Everybody's going to, you know, it's gonna, I'm, they're going to get my best, and I'm going to get their best. You know, it's a, it's a war out there, and, you know, I'm just trying to look to score points. Uh, you know, I've been a, done a really good job getting to the leg the last two matches, but I've got to finish. And, you know, it's, I'm definitely going to have to do that tomorrow night, and, you know, I'm ready to do it. Back here on the front row. Marshall, with PFB again. I know you have your sights set on, on something bigger, but you're the first five-time uh, All-American in, in program history. The nameplates in the in the locker room. Everybody's got different ones. At first, have you thought about what a five-time nameplate would look like, and, and just kind of what are your thoughts on being the first at Oklahoma State? It's an honor. You know, I came to Oklahoma State to make history, and you know that's that's history. And uh, you know, I'm just grateful, grateful for Oklahoma State. I love being a cowboy, and you know I I couldn't I couldn't picture myself anywhere else. Back over here to the left. Dane, you said you love being a cowboy. One of the things that's iconic for a cowboy is the orange singlet. And you didn't change your singlet this entire weekend. And normally, you guys wear it in the finals. Was that more of a, a mindset and mentality for you to wear that orange singlet and already be in that finals mentality and that championship mentality? Um, yeah, you know, we've worn orange every time we've wrestled all year. Uh, I think that was kind of just Coach Smith thing. He wanted to wear orange, so we're wearing orange. And, you know, I'm not going to say anything different. You know, I want to wear this singlet as many times as I possibly can. And I have one more time to do it. And, you know, I'm going to give it everything I got and get my hand raised at the end. And then at the end, I'm going to give the glory to God and go see my family. Okay, we're going to go to the left in the back. Kyle Klingman with Flow Wrestling. How has Coleman Scott in the room changed your wrestling this season? Um, Coleman's been awesome. You know, I've looked up to Coleman for a long time. And he's a, a great leader, a great coach, and... You know, it's been an honor to be able to wrestle for him. And, you know, I can't say, you know, much else. You know, he's a great, great human being, and he's definitely somebody that I want in my corner for, you know, the rest of my wrestling career and, and beyond. Anything else for Dayton? Okay. Thank you, guys. Sounds good.